Okay, in this video, you're going to learn how your personal AI assistants can help you start a cybersecurity business or just the mostly common phrase hacking. You can teach and configure an AI to do every brute force and every hacking operations for you. This is going to be very easy and you only need an API for your AI and you only need MCP. And after that, you're just going to choose what OS you're going to operate on. So you might go with Kali Linux or anything else. I choose Parrot OS. Okay, this is the website of the Parrot OS. It's a parrotsec.org. You can uh, go to this link and download it. I use WSL in order create a VM, a virtual machine, and run it inside my virtual machine. And I didn't want it to have a dedicated one. I actually preferred it to have a dedicated, but in this case, um, it's going to be a little bit easier for me to set it up. So in order to download it, just click on download and you can choose live. Uh, the live version is uh, mostly you're going to install it in a, a USB drive. A virtual machine, virtual is for virtual machine, IoT, um, as, as you can see, it's for mostly Raspberry Pi, so you can use any operation uh, in Raspberry Pi, mostly remotely. And uh, the good thing is you can run it on Docker and Debian conversation script. Maybe you can run it in the terminal. And um, I choose WSL, so you can go and download it. And after that, I just downloaded in my D drive at the Parrot OS. This file is the one you're going to download. It. I document every step that you can do in order to install it, not just in C drive. In C drive, you can just uh, install it as you say, but uh, mostly you might want to install WSL virtual machines in another drive because the C drive might get um, uh, overcrowded and uh, overflowed. So I created a document, a complete document using perplexity. Uh, in order every step that you can do, every method that you can need to do in order to set it up in another drive. So you don't need to stuck in the drive C. So I'm going to share it in the link below. It's going to be a GitHub repository. Uh, you're going to have it uh, all as you can have. And um, so, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to run a PowerShell. I already installed it. If you want, I can create another um, video for it to how to install it on WSL, but it's going to be straightforward. It's not going to be very hard. So um, I'm going to use WSL dash E parrot. Right after that, I'm going to down here. We go. That's what we need. And after that, this uh, the Parrot OS is going to be start only in terminal. And after that, I'm going to put this command here, password, and the protocol is now start. What did this do is that I can connect to the, uh, the, o the OS interface using the remote desktop connection. So I'm going to do it, localhost. So what does it start? I think because my VPN, so I'm going to clear it out. Go again. Here we go. Yeah, it was because of my VPN because I'm using some of the uh, V2Ray and Shadow Socks to connect to it. So you can understand, might be uh, a little bit uh, stuck using VPN, but just keep in mind, it's not going to be that hard. So as you can see, this is the Parrot OS uh, interface. What I did. I installed the Visual Studio, and this is uh, about one of the operations that I made. As you can see, I use MCP, uh, a Parrot OS server MCP that I created inside VS Code, and I uh, perform an operation. So, how I did it is the, um, let's folder download. Yeah, here. This is my project that I. This is, uh, the server is made with Python. I created the MCP, all of it with Python. I'm going to publish the project in the GitHub repository so you can access it and you can download it 
but as you can understand this is only for Parrot OS it's not going to be for Kali Linux and other ones so right after that I use uh, I get a JSON code a JSON script and after that I install it as an MCP side uh, any ID that you want you might use cursor or anything else right now my concern is that LLM is going to start hacking the, and the hacking operations for me. Um, the cloud, the GPT, the Grok, most, most of them it might not work um, because they are a little bit strict, not, not really that, not really Grok. Grok is going to be a little bit better, but what I'm uh, using is mostly um, DeepSeek, okay? So I use DeepSeek. And mostly the version uh, v.1 that is actually helped me doing the projects that i wanted that i know let's come up with the uh, action here right now guys i am in iran that's why i mostly i need to use women so it's going to be a little bit tricky for me to come up with any operations that i have i have planning to immigrate but right now i am stuck at iran so, taking too long to load. Let's say, like, okay, so right now it shows me I am New York Buffalo, so that's game changing for me right now. That's good. So, let's go back to here. We go. How hard it is to have to use the free anti censorship methods to you just connect some regular service every day. Every day, I cherish everything. Ah. Okay, uh, again, let's go. As you can see, I'm already added open router uh, key. If you don't know how to add a API to get a copilot, you can use manage models, go to the open router or grab or any API keys. It, uh, for this purpose, I prefer DeepSeek uh, three, uh, version 3.1 can click on it and what this is you're going to see this window ask you to add an api key and after you enter the api key you're going to see this window so i'm going to do uh free after i just added all of these uh, models that i uh, wanted so this uh wanted uh, deep seek in this is a version uh but actually might not be here if it's not here going to do that um, uh, Firefox or any other browser or router click on models the prompt pricing to the different the sorts into the top weekly the weekly one's going to be deep seek version 3.1 and this button which is copy model ID come back to code for stats go to models on router today you're just going to press this one and after you press it do not press ok right now press check mark and after going to press ok i already it's like uh, it's not accept deep chat 3.1 i don't know why it was strange i i used to uh, use uh, 3.1 but i think let me because it made with so much operations with it so let's go back to uh this is going to be g i want to do and uh, i don't know if it's going to work or not let's just test it out. well that's i guess it's just uh seek version 3 i guess it's going to be our um, oh, the gl uh, 4.5 air work as well so let's Z that they are. Um, how many to start OS? Um, to start it from here, and but already have a um, script in it, it's going to use it to be to connect to the Parrot OS. Going to be um, script that I have is run command, execute shell. Oh, list directories string root file and um it's going to perform everything that you can do um, um it's going to run the commands 
everything. As you can see, this is going to use my directory. Don't want that. Hit prompt. Going to Windows. One. And a new. I'm going to use the right hand and GPT-5 Mini. As you can see, it's going to run MCP server now. Lead list. It's going to list tools. Will be thousands more. Yeah, our tools. List of um, installed a lot of tools. Android OS. A cringy or server everything that is working in Colex and a lot of more. A lot more actually. Yeah. That's how it's working on the to do list. This is not using MCP. Here again, give me the list of tools about OSIN that I installed. Okay. Harvard, uh, Moo, Shed. Uh, go with something easy. Let's run Wireshark. MCP Wireshark. I have. And that that uh, you can very ex uh, exclusive prompts uh, need, uh, to be cautious, but you really can use AI to run any of these tools from any hacking you want. So, use Open Router and uh, the free mod. Uh, the VS code is not going to uh, cut it. Uh, sir, there is a router inside a that you can use inside the list and i think you can use um uh, windsurf windsurf that uh, has that side api key as well not in inside of the uh, application and uh, not inside the software but there is a biok uh the bring your own api key a version of inside of the the website you can add it into the web app and you can use it inside of the software so that you can do. Out of the um, start for 15 second output, packet summary, commands, don't use tissue interface, selected, but then product no pcap file, that means permission, it runs, run air network. 55 mini is two. 3.1 a lot, but right now GPT-5, at least tools. Be careful what I'm going to give it, but it's doing pretty well. TH and interface no ways. That's that's uh, so because this is uh, just a VM machine right now, so I don't have any Wi-Fi uh, disk and WLS, but. As we can, it runs the commands, it runs the tools. As you can see, you can use any of it, any of these tools, to do anything about cybersecurity and any of it. So, I you to use this tool. MCP is going to be perfect, and personally, and um, but going to be perfect for education purpose and for you then go to the security jobs and maybe even create a business out of it. Whatever about this, comment it down below. I really love to connect with all of you. And uh, thanks for being here and see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.